Well, hello there, everybody. It is me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I am back again. I'm back once more. Um, it's been about two weeks, about two weeks since I left off on this series. I'm going to keep going on it. It was a lot of fun. Um, I'm intent on seeing it through to completion. Yeah, um, we're playing Going Medieval. Going Medieval is a uh, community management simulator from Foxy Voxel. Um, it is a great game. We are playing on Ravensworth Castle. It's uh, modeled loosely off of a uh, 15th century castle, uh, 14th, 15th century castle in England, in Richmond. We are playing on the Richmond map seed. Um, watch my other videos if you want more detail. Um, yeah, so where do we leave things off? Let's see. Um, the harvest is important. Bringing it in, finishing the... The silo that was started in the last episode. I think I think that's that's going to be the focus. Um, maybe some more work on the castle itself. We definitely have harvesting of herbs to do, and we're we're gonna gather. Um, you know, the big harvest is done, right? We're not replanting for the season. It's the beginning of autumn, uh, but we're gonna gather berries. Um, this is this is gonna be like the early fall harvest. Uh, to just absolutely fill that larder to the gills um, before winter arrives. And we're probably going to slaughter... I don't need that hay, but we'll, we'll get that hay. Probably going to slaughter a bunch of goats um, at the end of this, too. So, I think the first order of business... Um, I expect we're going to get a new community member probably in this episode. Haven't seen a new, a new joiner for a little while. Um, and probably a bandit attack sooner rather than later, if I, if I had to guess. Knowing my luck, knowing my luck... Um, let's see. I want to keep Anais cooking, but we're gonna we're gonna give everybody else the order to break construction. It's starting to rain, so we want to get out there. And you know what? I'm actually I'm gonna do this uh, this neat trick. I learned a neat trick in this game. Um, that is, if you set everything to three, and then you decrease the priority of everything, it actually gives you a range of five, so you get more actions that can be queued. So we're going to want action number one to be harvest, action number two to be haul. And for right now, that's probably good. And I'm going to give that to everybody who's not cooking. And I'm going to give NIA some special cooking instructions because we're stocking grain now. Um, and that means grain can start to be used in the cooking. But obviously, I don't want her to do this again. This, this was a little bit of overkill here. Uh, I got to actually, you know, I'll do that right now. I'm going to create stowage space for the uh, animal fodder in the silo. Um, that, that is why I built it. Yeah, there we go. Looks good. And we're just going to make these fodder piles only. That last floor still has to be completed. But um, because we obviously don't want um, the... The overkill cooking, like I don't want her to cook 100 meals or 200 meals. We're going to limit the number of meals that are being cooked, so we're going to take it down. Uh, animal feed is going off, and we're going to take the amount down uh, from forever to until you have... What's a decent threshold? Like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people who eat three times a day, so that's what, 21 meals a day. Um, you know, I probably only need 60 meals. Um, stocked at any given time. No, not a hundred. There we go. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So, and, and she won't even start cooking. She'll do her other task, whatever her other task is. Um, let's put it on. Yeah, she's, she's on research uh, as her other task. And that, that makes sense. Um, we will not burn through our food and and i'm also yeah i'm gonna so this this is now using um barley i'm using the barley to cook where previously i was saving the barley we're still gonna save some seed obviously i'll monitor barley levels we're gonna bring a bunch more in there's another whole harvest coming this fall um a, a sort of a, a late autumn harvest christian is unconscious is he just exactly he's just exhausted Speed time up, and uh, yes, yeah, and I got a lot of, a lot of, a lot of goats, a lot of goats, too many goats, Boku goats. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna butcher these goats. That's the, the plan. Um, I also want to tame, tame some, 
um, some boars and start breeding boars. There's a boar. So maybe I'll set uh, Seward and the other brother there to animal husbandry. And there we go. And there's a second pig there. Yeah, there's a second pig there. So I got a female pig queued up to tame. Is that a male pig queued up to tame? That's perfect. Okay, so I want to get those two pigs. I don't, I haven't, I haven't wild tamed an animal. I'll be honest um, in this game. I feel it takes way too, I mean, realistically, it would take a, you know, a long time to make an animal like you and trust you, but uh, I feel like it takes way too long for the purposes of the, the, the flow of gameplay. Um, okay. So they already got the herbs. That was the first thing harvested. This is great. This is great. Um, and they're probably going to go in the morning direct to the uh, flax field. Um, I feel like my apple trees got a little screwed up here. They're supposed to be on the plots, and they're not. Um, so we're actually going to queue up the uh, apple trees that are there that aren't on plots for the old choppy chop. And that's a little bit better. Yeah, sorry, guys. I... Uh, I I just took a little time off to play Conan in Exiles, and then I got busy at work, and then there's this whole other, like, new life thing, which is kind of exciting, but, um, I'm back, I'm back, I, uh, I had a little bit of time, and I figured I would put that time into moving Ravensworth forward, because like I said, I really, like, I, I, I wanna, I'm, I'm, I'm intent on seeing this through to completion, um, at least as, you know, to my threshold of completion. I don't know what that's gonna be, probably, when I finish the monastery, um, I have been watching a lot of um, historical stuff, uh, period-related. I've been writing period-related stuff. You know, I am writing science fiction. I'm working a science fiction novel. Started writing a fantasy, or sorry, a, uh, not fantasy. Started writing a uh, historical short story um, set in the 1500s, um, and that sort of, you know, brought me back into genre, brought me back into this headspace. Um, so, yeah, I look forward to sharing that with folks, too, um, you know, on some... I don't, I don't think I'll do a reading for YouTube because that's weird. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not quite ready to join BookTube yet, although I will at some point. Like, I want to talk about books. I want to talk about literature. Um, but right now, I want to talk about going medieval. Okay, so they're pulling in the flax. It's pouring rain, but they're... I wonder if I should just get some people hauling right away. Mm, no. No, I'll let them do the... Oh, I don't know. I'm so torn. You know what? Yeah. Christian, Elmer. No, who's good at harvesting? Francis and Elmer are going to haul. Well, everybody else harvests. That way we'll get the stuff in even faster-ish. Like, more hands to... God damn it, that's what I, I called that, didn't I? <laughs> like, <laughs> probably gonna get attacked sooner rather than later, and it happened. So what do we got? We got River Bandits. We have four archers, three marauders, four marauders, four ruthless marauders. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, except uh, I, I don't think we get any citrus. So uh, I'm just gonna pull them all inside and put them all up on the walls. Actually, probably up on that wall because the battlements are more complete. And let's get our melee chappies down in the uh, courtyard here, just in case. They're, they're not... And I probably should just get them bows anyway, so they can shoot from the wall um, up until things... And what is this? This is iron ingots. Okay. Okay. Bandits are gonna just come to the front gate anyway, so let's line everybody up. And I think, like, that's just an, that's an easy win right there. It's Primer and the Archers. And I watch some videos of people playing in the, uh, the harder difficulties. Like, I get it. Um, I feel like it's a little gimmicky. I feel like all of the... Uh, stay on the wall, folks. Stay on the wall. I feel like all of the uh, combat in this game is just, just a tad gimmicky. Um, because, because of how it works. Like, there's no... Someone actually got hit. a real way to fight in a sort of realistic period appropriate fashion like you're always using a gimmick like I saw some people using like long leading hallways or choke points that, that like, I mean a choke point's fairly realistic but like a um, 
a meta kind of choke point that just feeds all the enemy melee fighters into your melee fighters and you get a couple archers to pick off their archers but that's it like i i much prefer this like close the gates if there was a drawbridge i would raise the drawbridge um close the gates and shoot from the walls um siege defense now you know i sacrifice a door almost every time i don't think yeah i think we're stay on the wall still an archer out there And again, the kind of annoying thing about, I mean, I shouldn't say annoying because stuff is good. I like stuff, but, um, you know, they're, they're all dropping items that are going to wind up in the hall queue or will decay on the ground if I don't haul them. So it's like, at least you know we're not going to be short on winter clothes. These guys are dropping their winters. Come on. The gate's going to break there. Stay on the wall. Literally, just stay there and shoot. I like. Oh, so someone did break through finally. I feel like they need to do a little bit of work on the um, the combatant AI. It's not gonna get through that second door. We got a, a killing pocket there. That's great. I'm going to see where they go. If they try to go through that other door... Oh, no, they're just getting up on the wall there. That's fine. This is ideal. Enemy's probably going to run away soon. We're going to kill two more. Okay, yeah. All right, they're switching towers. That's that's fine. We get this over with, folks. Go on, run away already. I guess I could engage with my melee, eh? There's no reason not to. Except for one of them got right fucked up right away. Okay. I don't care. So we're gonna have to what? We're gonna have to recite some doors, um, a graded door there, and uh, reinforced doors in the Barbican. Again, um, it's, it's a small cost of materials. The real, the real cost is gonna be actually having to assign someone to build uh, before the next, and I'm just gonna set them to haul all these things. Let's make sure, by the way, right now that everybody's dressed. Everybody's dressed for winter. Um, okay, good. Not great, but good. I'm like, I, I'm ambivalent about the enemy raids. I wish that they were higher risk, um, higher reward, but not, not just dictated by like the number of enemies. Um, the hard, the hard difficulty just has too many enemies, so many enemies that you never wind up winning the raids because there's just enemies left alive when the timer runs down um, and they wind up doing just more door damage, but not like, it's hard to explain. Go watch some videos of people playing on hard mode and you'll understand why I'm playing on the second hardest difficulty just um, for like the flow of gameplay. Like that we just experienced is about the length the raid should be, but it should just be harder. And like, they were, like they need scaling ladders. They need to like do things that are unpredictable to make that interesting rather than just clustering around your gate and dying um so you're gonna feed them into a choke point because that's i mean I, you know at the end of the day it's not really a fighting game it's not um the, the combat adds frankly like resource acquisition mechanics and i didn't even check to see if they dropped anything useful i don't think they did it doesn't look like it just leathers and there's a set of plate armor there oh it's in good condition all right somebody's getting plate armor New Wallace have plate armor? Probably, eh? Does not have plate armor. Okay. Wallace, go get ye some plate armor. And a better helmet. I don't know. I don't know why you're wearing that wooden mask. Okay. That's better. Short sword. Whatever. Rest of the stud. Knightly swords. I think they both have... Oh, no. Francis does not have a knightly sword, so... Good on that. That's why Wallace took damage there too. That's he 
Got that. Okay, I get it. I get it. Okay. Head to mail on. So now they're just gonna go back out and keep hauling or harvesting. And keep my eyes open for new berries popping. It's, it's it's fall, right? So there's not gonna be another harvest. Um, the number of items in the environment are fairly limited, um, but some things like berries do very do very well. They have a final season um, fall bearing. I just learned recently. I didn't know this, and I'm a I'm you know. <laughs> I'm a landscape gardener. I didn't know this, and I have, I have vegetable garden a lot. There's there's a kale that grows in the winter. Um, I didn't know this, so that's cool. Um, I'm I'm about that. Foxy Voxel, if you want to put some new new interesting plants in your game, put in winter kale. And let us let us grow something when it's you know minus five out. I don't I don't actually know how it grows. I don't know the science behind it. Um, I just I learned this um, through googling. Headband, flimsy. I got a tree growing kind of close to my wall here. We had a couple trees growing close to my wall here. I think, I think I'm going to start to um, mark out. I don't care if the trees are growing in the field; they look quite nice. Um, and these trees can all go on this side. I don't think anyone's assigned to wood cutting right now. But we are going to need. Uh, Words escape me. We're going to need fuel for the winter. Yeah, we'll cut that too, just cause. Just cause. And these. What are these? Are these maples? Okay. Yep. I don't know what my folks are doing. They're supposed to be hauling. But it looks like I oh I guess they're off harvesting the berries and stuff now. Yeah, alright. That's fine. That's fine. We'll let we'll we'll just give them a day to do uh the important tasks. We're not gonna do any building until uh, late autumn, uh, once the haul is all completed, um, I should probably focus on armor and weapon storage. We've got this slotted here um, that I actually get. Ooh, I want to build an ice box too. Let's site an ice box right now so that we can, when we butcher those um, goats, we've got somewhere to put the meat that did I actually get. So, no, I don't have. Um, and is anybody doing research? Yeah, she's doing research, so what do I need to do to get furniture too? We need 20 textbooks. Why has she not researched textbooks? I guess I just need to um, pause that and she'll do the textbook writing instead. Um, and then we'll get armor racks and I'll, I'll uh, cite some armor racks in this um, uh, the armory in the armory above the blacksmith um, below the barracks that seems that seems legit this seems like a good idea I've decided I'm not going to uh, clad this tower in stone um, until I build around it but I'm actually going to do the main keep first the wooden tower prov I, provides limited utility and if I'm at the point where I'm using the wooden tower for any purpose defensively i'm already fucked whether it's wood or stone doesn't matter they're through the gate they're you know they're they're inside speaking of which um somebody ought to be assigned to construct now okay and we'll do that get some of these uh, small building projects out of the way rather than rather than waiting i think stuff's going to start to decay if it keeps raining i'm particularly yeah so i've lost some grain on the field um there's not much i not much i could do about that to be honest it's just it's a lot of work we need more hands we need you know, new community members and i'm not point i'm i'm fairly willing to piss off um other factions to get community members like if somebody joins and is like i'm running from the king i'll be like ah fuck the king which um by the way there's a small change in monarchy that happened this past month um i didn't even didn't even touch on that um but may i be the first to say fuck the king so i'm uh you know, maybe that's, that comes as a shock to some of your sensibilities, but I, I'm an anti-monarchist. I, I think that um, monarchy is a great idea. 
if you are living in the 15th century. Um, it's something that makes sense if you need a strong person to arrange your society around. But we don't. We don't need strong people to arrange your society around. I don't. I don't really even believe in uh, hierarchical, top-down, like systems of power. I think that people can govern themselves. I really do, and I think that technology gives us the opportunity to um, communicate with each other in ways that we couldn't before. Um, and you know, so you needed a king to like mediate. And but I think now actually kings and their personalities and their foibles. Uh, call them presidents, call them dictators, call them whatever you want, democratic or not. I think that the cult of personality we build around individuals in politics actually changes the character of our societies to the point that, like, we have more conflict. Or we just, we, you know, we wind up in their conflicts. Like, would Russia be invading Ukraine if Vladimir Putin were not the president of the Russian Federation? No. Like, it's his character, it's his personality that has driven this conflict. To, to the point it's at. I mean, there are many other factors. But, like, And in the Middle Ages, you know, that's very apparent where the like the individual dramas of, okay, Anais is writing me textbooks. That's good. Let's see. How many has she written so far? Six. Good. Um, you know, the, the character of regions was influenced by the individuals who governed them. Um, so, you know, Lord such and such um, would, would get a conflict with so and so. And they, they, they'd fight and the people would die. The peasants would die in wars. Um, you know, you know this though. Everybody knows this, but um, some people weirdly think that uh, us little people still need to be told what to do or to be represented ceremonially by um, Chuckle Fuck Chucky. Okay, and rant. Um, the goats are eating well. I saw some work being put in, so there's flooring going in the third floor of the. Boy, it's just it's just pissing rain. I need I need all this stuff brought in. I really need them to haul. Still your primary activity, folks. Yeah, that's the best I can do, is everybody's got a haul. There they go. Wallace is putting in hours on the the uh, the silo. I'm a little bit leery about keeping the silo outside the wall. Like I feel like that almost obligates me to build a second outer curtain wall, like a like a town wall kind of, just because artillery when it does arrive is like going to destroy that silo in one or two hits. And I I don't want to have to rebuild my my silo or like build floors under my my stowed hay. Uh, hay doesn't decay in the rain, which is, um, Foxy Foxley, you should fix that. That's a balance issue. That's just like, hay should decay in the rain. Rain is death for stored, like, animal tack and things that you want to thatch with. Like, this stuff gets wet, and, you know, I work with sod, and sod, when it's, when it's wet and you pile it up, it gets warm and can start like a, it can start like a fire. Right, so, uh, maybe they'll add this. Maybe they'll add this with the fire mechanics. Who knows? Wet hay might spontaneously combust in the right circumstances. Who knows? I'm gonna be lecturing the developers like I have any say in what they do with their game. Okay, I'm also going to cite more um, more wood piles here. I think that seems wise. What are we at? We're on day five, so we're making good time. We might get into winter in this episode. We're only 25 minutes into the stream, and I feel like that's a uh, pretty good, pretty good pace we're setting here. Um, you know, there's 12 days in a season. If I get a day or two into like you know winter one or two, I'll be I'll be okay with that. Probably gonna slaughter the goats on winter one. You know, get them as fat as possible. Oh, there's kit lying in the courtyard too. I didn't even notice. 
taking some rain damage. But yeah, um, sighting the keep is going to be fun. Um, I'm going to definitely, the next episode is going to be primarily focused on the keep. That'll be the winter project. We'll do lots of like stone mining and like gather things. They're just you know, burning these bodies off here. Um, but I'm just like this, the building in this episode is just going to be finishing the little, little, the um, crenellations on the wall. I call them nubbins, but they didn't seem correct. I had to source the name, crenellations. Um, great. Great. Good work. Everybody else is kind of fucking the dog, though, like... 8 in the morning and they're not at work? I guess they're... And some of them are traveling long distances to haul small things. Whatever. Bringing in more wood. That is... That is good. Probably gonna need another wood pile. Ah, he finished the floor up there. Mostly. Perfect. And so I'll put a final stockpile on the top floor, and we'll also make it fodder. Let's just raise the thatch roof on it. And the silo's done. Okay. That's good. That's very good. Every single person should be hauling and they're not. Okay. Let's make them do it. I'm gonna have him finish those doors because that's my that's my security, right? If those doors aren't there and we get raided or some person comes running to the castle, like help me, help me, being chased, like that's that's our security. Okay. I got a lot of stuff to haul out of that flax field, I guess. I should uh, just make sure that this stuff isn't being reseeded at all. Just gotta do it one plot at a time. A tree, whatever. Uh, Not that I'm worried about them reseeding it, but you never you never know. Sometimes you look back and you're like, why did you replant that field? Why why? It's like also like pre-season planting is a thing. Um, you know, you can plant seeds in the ground and, and and overwinter them and they don't get killed um by the frost, the frozen ground. But you know, depending on the type of seed and but what is it? It's four degrees outside right now. So we'll be able to make ice soon. Not, not of course, that it will matter because um, the meat won't spoil in the the cold storage in the, uh, the the larder there. So the wheat's starting to come up. Or the barley, the barley's starting to come up for me. Uh, okay. Well, that's that's going to need to be harvested too then. Okay. And how am I doing on research here? So good. Got the weapon racks, the armor racks, and I'm gonna basically fill that room around the edges, I think, with. More of 
there. Yeah, that should be enough. And I feel like shield racks are under decoration. Yeah. Correct one? That is the correct one. Okay. I am gonna do a I'm gonna do a video in the next uh, day or two of my um, Conan Exiles castle, um, which is just monstrous. Like I, I I did a like short like half hour sort of like look at my castle video, but um, I put in I put in a little time, put in a little effort, and it is is truly a ridiculous building. Um, just. Okay, good. So they've already harvested um, it as it comes up. Uh, are these slated to harvest? No, they're not, because there's new berries coming up all the time. That's great. Don't see new berries over there, though. Some there. Might as well just keep them, keep them harvesting and hauling. Basically, right up until either we run out of stuff to harvest and haul, or uh, fall ends. I think we're going to run out of stuff. And then, then I'll send them to cut trees. Oh, hey, look! Someone's coming, and they're running from... They're not running from the crown. That's good. They're running from the forest bandits. Um, we will be attacked by a nominal force, and we will get a an uprooted reef, Enwind Martel, um, who's good at botany, animal handling. You are welcome, Enwind. Welcome. So first order business, uh, let's give Anwend a schedule. That works. Yes. And then jobs. I don't see a reason not to give Anwin the same job as everybody else. Again, we've only got an ace uh, researching and cooking. And she is cooking. She hasn't had to start cooking yet because we're still above 60 food. That's why I set that cap. So every time we dip below 60 food, she'll get up, she'll cook like 8 or 10 meals, she'll go do her other work. And that's, I think, an ideal use of a cook. Um, and she's making mead. She's making lots of mead. We have so much fucking meat. Um, I guess everybody's really happy now because they have meat. I need to I need to create a room for them to drink in. That's there's no great hall. There's there isn't even a hall. Maybe I maybe I could have built a hall in the wooden tower. Um, I'm not going to at this point, but that might have made sense. Also, do I have enough beds? That's an even more press. Yeah, I guess there's these mats here. Some people are sleeping a little rougher than others. Um, you know, on those stinky hay mattresses. You don't want to get night sweats in a hay mattress, I tell you that. It's going to soak right in there and just turn nasty. Meal dewy. Like, what? You would throw them out. I would imagine fairly frequently your, your mattress would be like six months to a year and you'd just need a new one. Um, unless you were, you know, super lucky and um, had one made of like fabric and um, soft, like, I don't know, it's like, down down is a thing i guess yeah um and like strips of cloth maybe um soft things you would you would rest yourself on soft things um, bolsters and pallets okay There are a lot of beds, though. There's, I don't see anyone crashed out in the tower. That's good. Is somebody crashed out outside? No, that's a, that's the dog sleeping in a bush. I guess I... Okay, fine. Fuck it. I'll, I'll assign someone to tame the dog. Oh, not, not slaughter. Let's see. Train? Train. Train the dog. Someone will train the dog in there. I don't even know how my... Um, my boar... My boar bribing is going. 
I don't I don't understand what the tame zero percent and taming failed. It's hard to tame these fucking animals. I don't know how you do it. It's like I assigned someone to do it and they never tamed zero percent. Failed. Seward, and he's the best tamer we've got, so I don't and I guess boars, if you fail to tame them sometimes, they maul your character, like the thing you gotta worry about. Also, we've got an attack coming in one day, so I gotta make sure I've got the gates. Oh, I don't have the gates. See, look, it's a good thing I thought about that, isn't it? So I guess Wallace failed to build that door. I thought he was working on it, but... There's warfare stuff on this pile. I thought this stockpile had already been... Whatever. I really wish I had time this, uh, this season to assign them their, like, handicrafts, like, smithing and stuff to... Okay. Okay. Here we go. A gate has been suitably fixed. Crops are up in three hours. So I think we're just going to, yeah, just keep them harvesting as they are. Again, this and the last episode are pretty, like crop and larder heavy we're not hmm i was watching my my grain stocks here double check how much food we've got yeah so i'll let her cook a little bit of the grain but we're like we're gonna need to get the meat um so that she doesn't have to cook all the grain so that we can eat all winter I mean, there's a lot of food, like 60, 60 units of food is just like three days of stockpiled eating. Um, oh, Amwind is actually injured. He has a minor chest. Oh, he's, he's going to die. He's going to die. Okay. Uh, wow. Let's see. He's just losing blood, hobbling around. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Poor guy. Let's, uh, let's take a picture of that, shall we? Uh, okay. It's, uh... So I'm going to need to um, create a uh, an apothecary at some point. Um, and that'll be a priority in the in the keep, I guess, when it when it goes up. But right now, I'm actually going to assign him to convalesce, and I'll just have her go tend him. I don't I don't actually I don't have a healer. This is interesting. There we go. There we go. Still losing a little bit of blood. No, he's gaining blood now. Look at that. Okay, so I can actually take him off convalesce, which might be a controversial decision. Um, you know, he's not losing blood, so he'll live. And I'll put him back on, uh, tasks with everybody else, because, um, I'm just, I'm just a fucking slave driver, aren't I? Speaking of slave driving, I, uh... Oh, I was, I was gonna say I've been playing Conan Exile. <laughs> Slavery, the game. Um, really, really, um, questionably ethical, uh, questionably unethical uh, elements of gameplay in Conan Exile. It's like capturing and enslaving non-player characters. I've, I've almost hit the cap of, of uh, how many characters you're allowed to enslave. I think it's like 65 and I've got like 45. Um, it's just, just still a lot. If I get, you know, if I get 20 more, I'll be happy. They're just they're guards, right? They're like guards who, yeah, are supposed to fight people who raid your base. Anyway, um, that's a different game. So, field's cleared. Search party's here in 16 hours. Sunset. Um, we're still going to get a half a day. Hope somebody gets this last last little bit of barley out here. At, uh... I don't care about those. Yep, there's someone got it. Good. So I can actually take them off harvesting now. Harvest is done for the year. And I'm going to put them on a mix of, what are we going to do? Uh, cut plants and mining. So who's good at mining? 
people who are good at mining are going to mine. People who are good at cutting plants are going to cut plants. People who are good at neither can do something else. Oops. Uh, hmm, let me think this through for a second. As long as everybody's assigned to one of the above, um, I can also assign one to construction. And let's assign two to construction. Yeah, okay, so now we're in like proper winter mode. And my first mining priority after they mine out whatever else I had assigned for them earlier is going to be that area there. It's within the, yeah. I'm actually going to toggle those off for now. I don't want them to have to go too far to do it. I'm going to get this strip mine over here that's just being worked away at too. But yeah, the uh, great autumn day eight. With twenty minutes left in the in the video here. Hmm. And we're gonna be attacked in five hours. I I'm not concerned about that. Maybe I should be. I feel like I'm ignoring some critically obvious. Once they mine this out, I'm gonna to need to put stairs down. This is this is really like this work here is the start of the like final final layout of the keep. Ooh, I didn't even think about stewarding. We're gonna need uh, things fueled. Okay, Francis is going to be pulled off construction and start stewarding. I don't want to, like, get a cold snap and discover that I forgot to start any fires in the, like, like beneficial fires, start any, any fires in the, the castle to keep people warm at night and stuff, like. Refused to battle these aliens' demands. Take up arms. Okay, what do we got here? I think I see there's some plate armors, a lot of plate armors, a lot of plate armors. Okay. Pretty much every one of my people could be wearing plate armor at the end of this. And I'm, I'm going to have to, in the next season, um, start putting their plate armors on the racks. And so they, they work faster, right? When you, when you have um, peasants who uh, are wearing, like, cloth. It's everybody? No, not quite everybody. I got to... Get everybody in. So, oh, people are far away too. Double check that. It's okay, I think everyone's gonna get inside this time. Definitely had it before where people have been caught outside by the enemy and cut off and killed. I guess maybe maybe a sally port would be a bright idea. The problem is, you build a sally port, you have to defend the sally port. Like it becomes another weak point in your wall um and right now i'm working off a single entrance just uh and again it's a little bit of ai logic abuse because um realistically the enemy would be like trying to climb the wall or undermine it or blow it up like okay archers do archer things no. oh and wind doesn't have a weapon okay that's news to me but probably a bow somewhere, right? So I didn't even check what his weapon proficiency is. Proficiency. A profi a prof what kind of weapon he wants? Um, I don't... Oh, there's a shirt bow. Yeah, alright. That's fine. There is a master archer or an adept archer somewhere out here, isn't there? I don't know if that... No, that's just... Uh, Godric there. Melton. So we're gonna have to kill the Adept Archer first, because that's just the biggest threat in the fields.
They're not really scoring the kind of critical hits I'd like them to here. Yeah, they could be doing better. Okay, that archer. Okay, and there's an archer here. Once that archer's dead, I'm actually going to focus fire on the plate armor wear so I can loot their corpses. Come on, here we go. Still a fucking archer up. There's two archers up. Wow, one of us actually took uh, an ace, has taken some damage from that other archer. A couple of lucky hits, I guess. And make sure she's not bleeding to death or something. Okay. Now we're shooting plate armor wares. She's got plate armor on. Yeah, she is. Bleeding very lightly, and her hit points are going up. She'll live. She better live. Technically, it's her castle. Um, but I, I hope I hope we see some more of that. I was funny. I was just talking with the monarchy and fuck the king, but I, I do hope we see some more leadership mechanics um, in, involved in the social aspects. Um, and the ability to denote structure ownership, like this is your house, this is your bed, this is your workstation, you, this is, you know, and you create like a, a life for um, some of the peasants. That would be, that would be good. Um, you know, they're, they're adding stuff all the time. There's, there's uh, new animals coming. We're getting, uh, we're getting a donkey. It's not a horse. It's not a horse. Um, no, nor is it an Orox, which I, I wanted to see. Um, but donkey's pretty cool. Okay, let's kill Richard. A horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. Uh, we're never going to see horses in this game. I just, I've given up hope on. Everybody on the forums is like, the maps are on Reddit, rather. The maps are too small. And, you know, they are small, but they're not too small. Um, a horse could have you. Let's get more plate armor. All right. And one more plate armor wear before I focus fire on the. That one. Um, but the maps are not too, too small. Like, you actually could benefit from, especially when there's uh, trebuchets, having horses um, to go out and ride them down. Um, that would be, that would be cool. Um, cinematic, epic, and um, just, just, like, add another structure type, add some design considerations. Your castles would need to be big enough. All right, now we're just in the final, the final gatehouse butchery here. They're gonna run. Good. Okay, we lost some doors again. This is just the theme of this design, I guess, is letting them batter through that door every time. I really need to get those two other other doors. Um, the the gates. They wouldn't be. They wouldn't even be getting close. It's so weird that I can't. Okay, uh, everybody, as you were. And they should rebuild that stuff fairly quickly, because there's someone actually tasked to construction now. I need to put a set of stairs down uh, urgently there, or someone will get stuck. Oh, is there wood on this damn pile? There should not be wood on this. Yeah, so sticks shouldn't be, wood shouldn't be, and iron nugget shouldn't be. We're going to manufacture things. That's all fine. Let's not put ice blocks on it or um, limestone bricks. How many limestone? I've got 260 limestone bricks now. I guess I haven't really been uh, tasking anybody to make them, but they... They will be important for the keep foundation. I'm going to need to uh, lay out uh, limestone brick pillars um, and connect them with arches in order to create kind of like the preliminary um, internal support. So you don't want to build a, the internal supports of your keep with um, anything weaker than your strongest material. That way, when you do take trebuchet hits, 
you know, your pillars aren't collapsing internally, causing you to lose a roof or floor. And I haven't really seen to the religious needs of my peasants in a while. Who needs? Oh, she's fine. She'll live. Um, I don't think anybody's particularly unhappy, though. I'm seeing no, no reference to great, great sadness. And how are we doing on food? Just keep checking that. Um, so she's not cooking quite fast enough, and that's not good. Maybe it's because she's getting distracted by the meat. I mean, I would get distracted by the meat, speaking personally. I made meat. Um, not, not last year, but the year before. Um, and it was really good, like five gallons of meat. Um, good time. It was like $150 worth of honey, though. Canadian dollars, if anybody's wondering. Bob's honey. Bob's honey. It's all Bob. Bob has honey. You know, I might do it again this year or something similar. Go out to uh, Collingwood and get some apples. Like, that'd be neat. Make, uh, make a cider or... Good, good, good. Final little bits of work being completed on the crenellations. Theoretically, I should extend the crenellations to face internally, just in, in, in like, gate the interiors, just in case the courtyard is overrun, because that could totally happen. Um, but and then that way, at least they could continue to hold the gatehouse towers as long as possible. I still haven't seen a trebuchet either, um, which I guess is good. Probably in the next, probably in the next year, I imagine, like at the end of winter, there will be a trebuchet attack or something. This the AI usually is pretty, uh, pretty quick. To, oh, I was gonna a, a lot out. So she's got. Let's let's just make sure everybody has some. And you get some plate armor, and you get some plate armor, and you get some plate armor. And there's probably one more out there. Or is that it? Uh, one of the gate there. Okay. And Seward's the only one who's not wearing plate armor now. Could give him all the metal helmets too, but... The thing is, I'm, I'm going to make gear, right? Like, I don't really care what they're wearing or what they're carrying at this point in time. Obviously, better is better, but I don't care enough to micromanage their inventory choices because they're all they're all going to receive standardized kits uh, probably as soon as winter's over. That'll be, like, in the spring. Um, maybe right before planting, I'll try to make sure everybody gets a standardized set of Speaking of standardized, just gonna make sure. So yeah, she's still doing research. That's good. That's really good. Okay, we've got we found a nice balance here. Am I running out of cooked food? Mm, no. She's she's putting in work. Everything's fine. Okay, it's autumn day nine. Those goats are starting to look uh, pretty fucking tasty, though. I tell you what. If I was one of those goats, I would be praying right now. Probably actually uh, kill him. It's, it's minus two degrees outside. They're not going to rot. You don't, have to, I, I don't have to worry about autumn heat waves as far as I know. Okay, so let's go to the domestic animals. I want to keep female, 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 male, female, and everybody below that line. We are the most influential settlement. Look at that! I win! Game over! No, not quite. Um, I, I haven't even built a cartography table yet. So everyone below this line is gonna get the, the shank. And that includes the young goats. Not the dog. The other goats. Uh, not the dog. Okay. Let's train both dogs.
don't even know if anyone's still assigned to animal husband. Yeah, they are. So Seward and Yeva should just get up and go shank some goats in the morning. Not a euphemism for anything either. You know, I was uh, speaking, speaking of <laughs> disrespecting goats. <laughs> Uh, I was watching uh, Buzkashi, the uh, national sport of Afghanistan. Uh, fantastic sport. It's like a cross between like polo and soccer, and the ball is uh, goat corpse. Um, really cool game. Played on horseback. Um, really athletic. They're, like very Mongol. Explicitly like very Mongol stuff. Um, those guys are cool. Full contact, no less. People die. People get maimed. Crowd gets trampled. The, there's no... Uh, perimeter to a Buzkashi field, so um, the crowd forms the perimeter and the horses ride through them. It's like, um, you know, it's, that's something else. Now, what I will, what I will, what I will say is, there's not a woman in sight. <laughs> really? yeah. really? well, I mean, it's, it's not just the sexism um, and the misogyny, the patriarchy. It's like, fuck this. These guys are dumb. Um, and you know, it does look pretty dumb, but I got, I got to tell you, like, I can't think of a, a more badass pastime than grabbing a dead goat carcass and fighting other dudes with lead filled whips over it on horseback to throw it in a hole. But you, you jump into the hole too. Like it's just, it's just so cool. Um, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do a short video, um, just on Buzkashi praising its, um, praising its merits. Um, I definitely don't think it needs to be brought to North America, but um, I'd, I'd like to take it a game someday, I think. Speaking of dead goats, there's a bunch of dead goats. I missed that. There he goes. No, oh, he's, no, he's not killing them right now. He's, he's hauling them. And they should just go in the basement. Yeah, good. So larders, full-ish now, full-ish. There's, there's some empty shelves in that, in the row, in that row there. Um, and they'll be absolutely full once the slaughtering starts. She will have to slaughter them. Also, they're going to have to haul. She's making honey crisp bells, which I guess the honey pies are... Um, I don't even know. I don't even know what they're... It's interesting. And she's still making cheeses, too. Oh, good. Yeah, we're we're doing great here. Maybe I'll want to assign another person to cook, but we'll see. Construction's being done. Still hasn't started in the construction of this stuff here. Wood piles, um, not super full, but I, it will get there once they start hauling the wood. I'm actually going to build another... Uh, wood stockpile here, I think. Um, wood only. Perfect, perfect. Good, so we get the, you know, the gate's been restored. We've got the interior uh, gate is completed now. We've got the, the, the grill in place. Is the corpse pile full? Is that what's going on? Not quite. Could expand it again, I guess. Just a little bit. Just, just a smidge. There we go. Oh, the, now he's building the racks. Good, and that'll that'll at least well, he's trying to build the racks anyway. But that'll give me the opportunity to store weapon types. Um you know, you want, if you want to use crossbows, you want a room full of crossbows. If you want to use swords, you want a room full of swords. That way, like, you just produce them, you have a certain number of them. When they get lost or decay, um, you just replace them. And you can you can have your peasants unarmed, or just a few peasants armed, like guards, you know, for emergencies. But everybody else can turn out to the armory, get their weapons. They don't have to run around, like, wearing full plate armor and loaded for bear. Like, that the most efficient way to play certainly it's a little bit more heavy in the micro wolves micro what is a pack of wolves right outside the wall they they used to attack people they, they don't anymore um i may have mentioned that in a previous stream the wolves were um, aggressively hostile in early iterations of this game um and now they're like mostly chilled and there's just like a, a 
the pack event that happens in the winter. I haven't lost a peasant to a pack of wolves. I, I think since they since they changed the wolf behavior. Somebody tell me I'm right. Somebody tell me the wolves used to attack on site, and I'm not just thinking of Age of Empires. Okay, so now that we've reduced the number of goats, we've also reduced the strain on our feed stock for the season. Um, we're not going to dip much below what, we, what we're currently at because they're going to eat a small amount. It's not going to be like... And we've got all of these corpses that are going to be turned into meat um, when she gets around to it. That's it's really like a when she gets around to it. Where's the other fermenting mead going then? A little bit curious. I want I take the warfare stuff off this pile completely. Take the fodder off this pile completely. Take all the waste off this pile completely. Yeah, so see now they're they're actually finishing the armory proper here. I'm gonna have to create like individual categorizations for these uh, weapon racks. That'll be uh, that'll be in the next episode here. Okay, so the armory is furnished. The larder is hella fucking stocked. The granary, um, the silo, is stocked. I think the animal feed decays when it's... Um, yeah, it does, because of ground type. Do I... Can I store animal feeds on shelves? I can't. Okay, that's interesting. So animal feed has to go in... Troughs. That's so funny. And kind of stupid. Because I don't want to lose all that animal feed, obviously, and it's going to decay where it's at. And these troughs are full. Once Wallace is done building there. Oh, yeah, see, they're already slapping armor on the racks. That's great. And some clothes. They're putting clothes in the racks, too. Whatever. I don't care. They can dress them up however they want. But I'm going to need those troughs uh, built um, ASAP in the next episode so that... I, I guess the, the animal feed is going to uh, do a little better. See, that stuff's not decaying, it doesn't say. Oh, it's just because it's not floored. Oh, that's a dirt floor. Look at me being a, just a genius. Just a... Just a smart guy. Real smart guy over here. Okay, so you don't need to... I was like, that seems silly. You should just be able to put the baskets animal feed indoors and not have, not worry about it. It's not for a really long time, but it's decaying quickly because it's sitting on bare dirt. Okay, I get that. I get that. So you just put it up on a, a mat of sticks. It'll do okay. Got all the fires lit, all the torches lit. Might put some more torches around now. I guess I can can spare the. Certainly spare the um, effort it requires to light and fuel torches. No shortage of. Braziers on the roof are burning. 
I put another iron brazier up in the tower there. Oh, there's also chests. I forgot chests come with storage. So chests are really good for clothing. Um, I'm going to put a couple chests in the armory, but we'll likely cite more chests. Uh, I don't want to block that door, but I can put one there. I can put one there. Yeah, that's fine. It has been a while since I did one of these videos. I, I, I went actually and I get to see Hylum. That was cool. Um, Germanic pagan folk ensemble that plays with authentic period instruments and authentic vocals. And it, it's really cool. It's really cool. Um, check it out. If you, if you have not checked out High Lung, um, I'm going to end this video on that note. Um, but we're here. It's autumn day 12. Um, didn't quite reach winter one, but we did slaughter the goats. And on the next episode, I'm definitely going to focus on keep construction, on excavation, on mining. And um, yeah, well, that's all for me for now. This has been Postmodern Cowboy playing Going Medieval, a community management simulator from Foxy Voxel. Um, it's in the vein of Rim World, Rim, 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 Rim World, in the vein of Rim World, and Dwarf Fortress and um, Surviving Mars and games like that. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. Keep it peaceful out there.